Well, fans, here we go. We start off our evening with a 10-round special attraction. We feature the big men of the sport, heavyweights in action. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing purple trunks with white trim. Fighting out of and representing Bristol, Tennessee, he weighed in at 226 and one half pounds. His record, 12 wins, 7 losses, with 11 wins by way of knockout. Please welcome Mike, the Duke Dixon. And his opponent across the ring. On my left, fighting out of the red corner in this 10-round heavyweight bout, he is wearing white trunks, blue trim, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. He weighed in 228 and one quarter pounds. His fine record includes 20 wins, five losses with 13 wins by way of knockout. Welcome the hard-hitting heavyweight they call the Atomic Bull, Oliver McCall. The judges for this bout, ladies and gentlemen, Jim Harbour, Jim Ganong, and George Brook. Your referee in charge now to give instructions, Sam Garland. All right, the referee Sam Garland calls the two combatants to the center of the ring. This is a 10-round heavyweight battle featuring Oliver McCall from Chicago. He's living in uh, Salem, North Carolina now. And Mike Dixon, what they're talking about are the rules here. The 10-point must scoring system means the winner of the round gets 10 points, the loser 9 or less. The scoring is done by three judges. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the final round here, which, of course, is uh, scheduled to be the 10th round. A fighter must get up following a low blow or he may be counted out. And in the state of uh, Tennessee, there is a, a three knockdown rule. So here we go. Round number one, we're set to go. Those are the basic rules. This fight is sanctioned by the Tennessee Boxing Board. And uh, this is just round number one. In the white trunks is uh, Oliver McCall. You've seen him on King Vision before. He's a tough heavyweight. Uh, a fellow that uh, not too many good heavyweights uh, in the division want to face because he is a good one. He's about an inch taller than Mike Dixon. He's about and three quarters heavier. Their age is the same at 27, and McCall has an inch reach advantage over Mike Dixon. Dixon hails from Bristol, Tennessee, living in Atlanta, Georgia now. His record is 12 and 7 with 11 tails. McCall's a good one. He tries to go to work here in round one to the body, has his man up against the ropes. He's forcing the action. Remember the Scoring, 10-point uh, must scoring system, a lot of it is based on effective aggressiveness, and right now, the aggressor is Oliver McCall in the white trunks. It's McCall to the left of your screen, on the right, Mike Dixon in the kind of purplish trunks. The blue on your screen, most likely, but they're actually purple here. Right down the middle. Big right hand came up there by Oliver McCall. This is just round one. It's scheduled for ten. McCall taking his time here in round one. Ordinarily, he starts a little bit faster. You see Dixon with kind of a pouring left jab, but uh, no problem for McCall. McCall bounces that uh, left hand off the forehead and catches for the sneaky right inside in the left uppercut. Bangs into the body and back upstairs again. Now Dixon tries to answer, but it's McCall loading up as he backs Dixon in. Cut a strange punch that McCall has. McCall's a very difficult guy to fight. He does, he does strange things. Instead of snapping that jab out, like most fighters, you'll see him come with his, with his fist kind of turned upside down, and it's kind of a half uppercut jab, and it confuses guys. Dixon, uh, Dixon really goes to the body. This is just round one, and again, it's scheduled for 10 rounds in this heavyweight division. See that kind of left hook uppercut again. Misses with the right hand, scores with the left. Bounces the left hand again off the nose. Dixon puffy already around the nose underneath both eyes. And you see McCall snapping that jab in the face. When Dixon puts his jab out, you see how soft and pouring it is. Does no damage at all. And McCall walks right through it. McCall's clearly the better fighter of the two here in round one. Oliver McCall has a pretty fair country record, too. 20 wins, 5 losses, 13 KOs. He's been in with some good ones. In between rounds, we'll tell you a little bit more about him. You see that uppercut gets through. Three nice punches landed by McCall. The crowd got excited when Dixon landed a punch in there, but McCall puts all the pressure on this. Round number one, 
comes to a close in a nice 10 9 round for McCall. Oliver McCall was born in 1965 in Chicago, Illinois, and he grew up in Racine, Wisconsin. As you're looking at Richie Giacchetti, who uh, worked with some great champions, namely Larry Holmes and Mike Tyson. Giacchetti, one of the great uh, trainers in boxing today, working with a lot of the Don King stable boxers. McCall began his uh, amateur career in 82. He racked up an impressive record of 31 and 1 with 28 KOs after winning the Wisconsin and Illinois Golden Glove titles in 84 and 85. Then he decided to turn pro. They call him the Atomic Bull. As you look at him, he won 11 of 12 bouts in his first three years as a pro. In 88, he fought on the undercard of the Mike Tyson Larry Holmes fight. He fought the Bounty Hunter, which was a big uh, move up in class for him, and he lost that one. We'll tell you a little bit more about him as we get ready to go to round number two. A free Sam Garland now. Uh, busy here. This is round two, scheduled for ten heavyweights. Oliver McCall and Mike Dixon. We're coming to you from the Pyramid in Memphis, Tennessee. Fights here sanctioned by the Tennessee Boxing Board. Now McCall picks up the pace a little bit more here. The corner here that you might hear in the background is saying, there you go, Mike, there you go, Mike. But his, he continues to paw with that left hand. He's going to get in trouble by McCall because McCall comes right through. Whacking to the body does McCall. Scores with the left hand. He's got Mike Dixon backed up. A little blood coming from the bridge of the nose of Mike Dixon. You see the wild looping right hand, no damage at all to McCall. McCall goes right through it, two uppercuts inside. And McCall really keeping the pressure on him right now. Dixon not doing anything to try to keep uh, McCall off him. He's really taking some punishment here. And if he doesn't start answering some punches, the uh, referee will move in and stop this fight. It's only round two, but uh, now he throws a punch back, so that'll keep it going for a while. And the doctors will be checking that cut pretty soon, too, I imagine. I can't tell exactly where it is, whether it's on the bridge of the nose or underneath that left eye. But we'll be looking at that in between rounds, I'm sure. Dixon again walks in with a straight jab, then the left hook, then he catches him with two more jabs. Wails with the right hand and just whistles past the chin, and the uppercut catches him. And it's all Oliver McCall. Oliver again with a record of 20 and 5 with 13 KOs, having things all his way here. Round number two of the scheduled tennis, and it won't go 10 rounds. This thing should be over very, very shortly, either in this round or perhaps in the next round, the way things are going here. Because Dixon's waiting, he's not getting off of his punches at all. He's bleeding now again. I, I can't really tell whether it's from the eye or above the eye, just where it's coming from. Big right hand catches him, then now he's ready to go, but he goes up against the ropes. And he, since the ropes did catch Mike, Mike Dixon, they're giving him the standing eight count. That scored the same as a knockdown when a guy is saved by the ropes. So that is scored as a knockdown, so it'll be at least a 10-8 round. And now he goes with a big looping right hand. No damage done to McCall at all. McCall has a look of confidence. No, oh, he catches him with a nice uppercut. Backs him up against the ropes again. And he's in big, big trouble right here. The referee again, Sam Garland, trying to keep a good eye on him. If he doesn't answer, he's going to move in and stop the fight. He moves in, and I can't tell you, it looks like he's giving him a standing eight count again because, again, he's up against him. It looks like he's counting him out. I, I haven't seen some of these signs by referees before, but... Obviously, the fight is over, and I guess he just decided to stop the fight, then he started counting. A little confusion at the very end there by the referee, but there's uh, no question about it. It uh, came at 2.48 of the second round, and it'll be scored as a technical uh, knockout by Oliver McCall. We'll wait to get the official scoring, uh, at least the official time from uh, Jimmy Lennon. I'll ring it out momentarily. All right, here it is. Uh, you see McCall coming in, just unloading on uh, Mike Dixon. And he, the referee does a good job here because Dixon was about to fall into the ropes. He does a nice job. He chases McCall away. 
And then at that point, that wasn't a standing eight count. Now here's the here's the close of the fight here. Watch the referee make signs that I've never seen in boxing before. He gives a safe sign. He he walks in here. He doesn't he doesn't put him away. He doesn't wave his hands. He just sends him to what I thought was a neutral corner. And then it looked like he was going to give him a knockdown count. And then maybe he changed his mind at this point. He looked in the eyes and said, "Hey, this guy can't go any further." And then he stopped. But the uh, he, any <laughs> the fact of the matter is Oliver McCall has won this fight. Now let's go up to ring announcer Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official timing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Two minutes, 48 seconds in round number two. The referee in charge, Sam Garland, stops the contest. Winner by way of technical knockout, the Atomic Bull, Oliver McCall.